Hi, this is Brent, and I wanted to talk about a really cool feature that I found that will help you in writing script for extending Flash. Now, you've seen this already, and if you remember, you create a script using your favorite text editor. And let's say, for example, I have my trace bitmap uh, script, and I want to add some functionality. Now, before I found this tool, you would have to do it this way. You would open up your editor, you would find the line of code from the help file, copy it and paste it into your script, you'd save it, you'd go back to Flash, and you go to commands and you run the script. Now, if you're trying to add one little line of code, you'd have to run the entire script in order to see if it worked. And that just gets way too long in the process. So what I found is this really cool feature. It's called JS API Snippets. Now what you have here is kind of a little uh, actions panel, but it's a, a JavaScript panel. And you can enter JavaScript code and press execute, and it will run it immediately. You don't have to save it anywhere. It's just automatically created. Now. The way you get this, you have to download it. It's an extension. And if I go to my browser, I'll show you where to get that. You go to Adobe, you go to Developer Center, Adobe Exchange, and you're going to do a search. And you're going to search for JS API is the, the key word here. You're going to find this right here. And you're going to download it. You're going to run it and apply it. It'll add this extra panel. You go back to Flash. When you open Flash, you're going to have to go to other panels, and it's going to be listed right here. It'll open up, and then you can dock it with the rest of it like this. All right, let's see how this thing works. Let's say that I want to add a functionality that once it's traced the bitmap, it's converted to a vector image, I want to convert to a movie clip. So if I go to my help file, here I am in the help file under Extending Flash, Objects, and I went to the document object and I found convert to symbol. This is the exact code as if you were to right click on a, on a uh, graphic and do convert to symbol. So you can set the type, you can do movie clip, a button, or graphic, uh, you give it a symbol name, you can even set the registration point. Now I'm going to ignore this, this is a sample script, all I want is this one little piece of code that I'm going to copy, go to my editor, actually I'm not going anywhere, sorry, <laughs> stay within Flash, go to JS API Snippets, press Control V. Now what you see here is this line of code. Now notice if I select this piece and I'm going to press execute, notice it converted it to a symbol and there it is in the library. All right, so we know it works. Now you could set some settings, like you can give it a name. I it just uses the default name. Now let's go ahead and take this existing code. Now we're going to copy it. Now we're going to go to our text editor, and I'm going to insert it. Now within this code, I want to insert it after it's done the trace bitmap, because trace bitmap only works on graphics. If you convert it to a symbol before you do the trace bitmap, it will not work. So after it's been traced, I'm going to paste this in and now I have the functionality of convert to symbol. It's going to create a movie clip. If I save it, I go back to flash. Now I'm going to undo so that it'll work. There we go. All right, now I'm going to go to commands and I'm going to do trace bitmap. It's going to ask me for my thing. Oh, let's just, you know, change these around a little bit. Uh, that's good, that's good. And now it's working. Now, one thing to keep in mind JS API snippets works for most all of the code, but there are times, hey, there it goes. There are times that when you enter a line of code that you've copied, it appears that it doesn't work. Now, understand that this isn't the ideal solution, but it will help significantly. I did find that it does not work with certain things like publishing commands 
or save as commands. Well, save as I think works, but there are certain things that don't. So if you try a line of code and it doesn't work, you need to go to your text editor, create a new script, enter the line of code, save it in the commands folder, come back to Flash and test it. Because, again, this is not a perfect tool, but it will significantly help uh, the process. So hopefully that gives you an idea. Uh, and this is something that I've really enjoyed and it will help you be more productive.